What's going on, people? It's your boy Tone back with another video. Today, we got Kyrie Irving still being suspended, still being scrutinized for the link he shared to his accounts that was deemed as anti Semitic. Now, we have some support from a lot of people across the board, but one person specifically I found kind of interesting. If this is your first time watching, make sure you guys click like, subscribe to this content. Let's get into it. Come on. Are you sorry for the hurt that your post caused people? I take my responsibility for posting that. I didn't mean to cause any harm. I'm not the one that made the documentary. I think right. uh, some of the criticism of the Jewish faith in the community, for sure. Some points made in there that were uh, unfortunate. Again, I'll repeat it for posting something on my Instagram or Twitter that may have had some unfortunate falsehoods in it. It's not that I don't believe in the Holocaust. I never said mm -hmm. that. Never ever have said it. It's not come out of my mouth. I never tweeted it. I never liked anything like it. So, just please keep that same energy when you guys are addressing me. Kyrie, for the record, do you have any anti-Semitic beliefs? Again, I'm going to repeat. That question was I don't know how the label becomes justified because you guys ask me the same questions over and over again. But this is not going to turn into a spin around cycle of questions upon questions. I told you guys how I felt. I respect all walks of life and embrace all walks of life. That's where I sit. So Kyrie has already apologized for posting the link, but as you can hear the reporter, he's just rephrasing his question to try to catch Kyrie in a gotcha moment. But Kyrie's a smart guy. It ain't happening. Let's continue. Kyrie Irving has been falsely labeled anti-Semitic by the media. Mm -hmm. And not only that, he's been sent on this scavenger hunt to prove that he's not anti-Semitic before he can return to basketball. He was suspended five games, and even the NBA PA has started to take notice. Mm. Jalen Brown have said enough is enough and decided to appeal the suspension. We can debate whether or not Kyrie sharing that documentary was a smart decision, but it doesn't make him a bad person, and it doesn't make Facts. him anti-Semitic. I'm going to show a clip from Candace Owens. She explains it perfectly. I know some of you guys aren't a fan of hers, but just listen to what she has to say about Kyrie Irving. So here we have Candace Owens, who is also facing a little bit of backlash on Twitter uh, from her own constituents for supporting Kyrie. Um, but here in this video, she breaks it down thoroughly why she's doing it and where she stands on this whole topic. Let's get into it. It's important. It's important to underscore, first and foremost, the absurdity of the media, the way that they are behaving in that press conference. They are essentially approaching him pretending that every single word of the documentary that Kyrie Irving did not make, he has to answer for. Right. Could you imagine a world in which everything you watch, right, you are somehow now responsible for every single word within it? Notably absent, by the way, is the press going up to Jeff Bezos, who is the owner of Amazon, who mm -hmm. runs Amazon, and saying, hey, why did you allow this documentary to be on Amazon? There are, there's no outcry. There's no, no, everybody delete your Amazon accounts because of this documentary. They are putting this firmly and squarely on Kyrie Irving, which is problematic in the first place. And that's where a lot of the outcry comes from, right? People are upset because you are demanding Kyrie to pay half a million dollars um, and do all these steps and take all these things on this list in order to be reinstated into the NBA and be able to play in the NBA. Yet the person that's making profit off the movie and off the platform, you have nothing to say about him. There's no questioning. There's no conference. There's no, there's nothing. All right. So people see what's going on. Um, and it's a shame because it's kind of dividing us even more, but at the same time, it's bringing a lot of things that need to be spoke about to the light. They are putting this firmly and squarely on Kyrie Irving, which is problematic in the first place. I want to also make it clear that in listening to his words, it is pointedly ridiculous that they would say that he is unfit to be associated with. Mm -hmm. There was nothing that he said, but I would say that he is unfit to be associated with because he very clearly condemns the falsities in the movie. He says, I do not think this way. He actually calls them falsehoods that are unfortunate, right? He says that that is not what I said. Do not attribute every word in this documentary to what my beliefs are. He also very clearly stipulates to them when they ask him, are you anti-Semitic? He clarifies that he's not anti-Semitic. Now, why is Kyrie Irving saying that? Why is he saying, I can't be anti-Semitic? That he hails from maybe Africa or from Asia, which is what the documentary explores. And I'm going to give you my feedback because obviously I watched the documentary after listening to this, right? His feedback is, 
do not make the word Semitic just about Jewish people in America. It includes right. a lot of other people, okay? Now, you might disagree with that. You might disagree with the Oxford Dictionary definition, but you can't be mad at him for stating the actual Oxford Dictionary definition. The mm -hmm. last thing that I want to say here, uh, just regarding his press conference, and I, I want to say this really from the heart, because there was so much pressure that was put upon me to condemn Kyrie Irving. And what she's referring to here is people in her own party wanted her to come out and condemn Kyrie for the link that he shared, all right? But instead, she understood what he was trying to do. She understood he's trying to learn, trying to learn his heritage. And within that, she went against her own colleagues and supported Kyrie. Right, to condemn Kyrie Irving based on this press conference, to basically decide that his pain is irrelevant. When I watched this press conference, I felt Kyrie's pain. I felt his pain, and I will say this emotionally and not rationally, as a black person. People don't often think about how bizarre it is that we don't know where we come from, right? We don't know. If you ask the majority of white people, they'll say, oh, my family's from Scotland. My husband's family can go back so many generations and talk about where they're from in England. And when you talk to most people, they have this sort of cultural understanding of their history. Right. We don't. Facts. It's a weird feeling. You She's do right. sort of feel out of place. And yes, of course, it's because of the slave trade. And I'm not throwing that on anybody. I'm not saying that it's somebody else's fault. But what Kyrie Irving says is that you can't pit atrocity against another atrocity, atrocity and basically say that his pain doesn't matter, that his noble pursuit of wanting to know where he came from, even if he landed on the wrong conclusions, is something that he is valid in feeling. It's a journey that he is valid in wanting to go on and wanting to partake in. So no, I'm not going to turn my back on Kyrie Irving and pretend that he's an awful human being based on this press conference. It's wrong. There are a lot of people that feel that they are in pain from the Jewish community because they're upset that he shared this link. But also, if you're not paying attention, there are a lot of black Americans that are telling you that they feel that they're in pain because you're telling them that they're not allowed to feel the way they feel about not, about not understanding their roots. Now, whether you agree with her on most topics on this one, she's absolutely right. 100% all facts. The support continue to pour in for Kyrie as we go over to Twitter. Um, some black Hebrew Israelites showed up, had like a march going on, and they were chanting, we are the real Jews. It's time to wake up. Let's see what's going on with this one. Looking organized. Structured. Time to wake up. Mm. So this is what happened when they got in front of the Barclays Center. Looking real organized right here, man. So there you have it, you guys. You have Kyrie getting support across the globe, across the board, whether you're on the politician side of things or an NBA player yourself. People are starting to wake up and realize um, we need to have a conversation, man. We all need to sit down and, uh, you know, figure out a way to practice our own religions without uh, being canceled if you disagree with me or I disagree with you. There has to be a middle ground. And the way they're doing Kyrie right now is absolutely ridiculous, man. And as always, guys, make sure you guys click like, subscribe to this content. Let's get up out of here. Peace. If I should die at a young age, young age, I thank the Lord for giving me a break. If I should die at a young age, young age, I thank the Lord for giving me a break. Cause I'll probably live forever, ever, probably live forever, ever, probably live forever, ever, I'll probably live.